What's up, folks? Welcome to day 79 of Onshape. Specifically, what we're going to do today is take our box, which we have our box, we have it a subassembly, we have a nice little folder, everything's nice and neat. We're going to add to it and create our camshaft and handle. If we do this well, we should be able to do this with one, just one sketch. If you want to go kind of just ahead of me, and if, you're, if you feel super confident on this, you could just take this sketch right here and run with it and kind of do what you need to do. But if you want to follow through step by step, let's get rolling on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch. We're going to do on this right side here on the outside of our box. And we're going to name this sketch, let's call it camshaft and handle. Now we're ready to start doing some of our work. We're going to start off by drawing a three squares, or three, sorry, three circles. First circle is going to be three quarters of an inch. I'm going to draw another circle. We're going to give that a dimension of half an inch. And we're going to do one last circle with three eighths of an inch. And we're going to hit R for rectangle. We're going to do a rectangle inside of here. And this is going to be our quarter inch dowel rod. That's going to kind of run all the way through. I just like the quarter inch dowel rod. I like the square profile. It just tends to work better. You don't have to worry too much about gluing your cams. And you know, it just works exactly in the spot you want it to. Now, with that being said, we need to also include our circle. So I'm going to hit C for circle, draw a large circle up here, draw a rectangle based off of that circle, and let's give it some other dimensions as well. It can be half inch circle. There we go. And our side links on that square is going to be a quarter inch. Only thing we're kind of missing at this point now is some lines connecting those two circles together. So hit L on my keyboard for line, hit escape. Let's now do some tangent mates. So I'm gonna click on tangent, click on the circle, click on the line, click on the circle, click on the line. And then you're gonna think, well, we're not fully constrained yet. We want to be on every sketch we do on this design. The last thing we're missing is the dimension between these two circles, which I'm going to go ahead and just make one inch. Okay, looks good. Everything is in kind of in the spot it needs to be. The only thing we might want to change later, and that's totally fine since the sketch is fully constrained, we might want to change some of our dimensions. But for now, let's just run with what we have. The sketch is named. We're going to hit green check mark, and we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift E for extrude, and we're going to go ahead and just remove. We're going to call this sketch clearance holes. And then that's going to be all the way through. Now there's something we're going to use here, and it's going to be merge with all. So it's going to take that, that profile and remove it from any intersections it does along that path. Cool, we're looking good so far. We're gonna make that sketch active again. And now we're gonna go ahead and hit Shift E for extrude. And we're going to click on the 3 8 inch circle along with that square. Now notice, or that'd be the half inch circle, right? Now notice what we have going on here. I'm giving it a quarter inch thickness. We're gonna create this as a new. And we're gonna go ahead and call this the right bushing. Okay, looks good with me. I'm going to then rotate to the inside. Shift E for extrude. And then I'm going to take that 3 8 inch circle with that square profile. And I'm actually going to merge that with the new part we just created. So we're adding to that right bushing. So I'm going to ask, so we'll call this right bushing add. We're going to give it a depth of a quarter inch because we know that's the thickness of our walls. Merge with part six. Hit the green check mark and we're good. If we want to, we can go ahead and 
name this part. So let's rename this. Let's call this right bushing. Let's go with me. And here's where the beauty comes from. If you've modeled all of your parts around the origin point, if you want to do a feature like mirror, for example, it's a lot easier to use. So we're actually going to use the right plane and mirror this bushing over to the left side. Let's do it. So I'm going to click on mirror. We're going to click on right bushing. Mirror plane is going to be on the right plane. And instead of an add, it will be a new. There we go. We've officially made our left bushing and we had to do just like three clicks. I like it. Let's go ahead and name our mirror. Let's call it left bushing mirror. And we're ready to add to our right bushing. So let's hit shift E again. Notice we're using the same sketch like, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight times. Get a depth of a quarter inch. And we're going to add to merge scope with that right bushing. Now, since the meet, we did the mirror command first before doing that second extrusion, notice my one on the left side doesn't change. If I were to change this order, look at that. You can actually reorder your timeline quite easily. But in any case, let's get rolling. We do need to put our, uh, our handle in, so let's go ahead and make sure we, let's call this right bushing add number two. Let's hit shift E again. And so let's take our handle and let's go to a day length of, let's say two inches. Looks good with me. It's a new, we're going to call this our handle. Call that new part, the handle. And it's looking pretty good. Last thing we do is throw in here is throw in our camshaft. So I'm going to use some new features in here. We don't use too often, but it's pretty cool to see. We're going to take that square profile on the inside, and we're going to do a two-sided extrusion. So we're actually going to have two end positions for our extrusion. One going to the left, I believe, is going to be 4.75 inches. It's going to end flush with that end cap exactly what I want. The other side is going to be a quarter inch. It's going to be a new. We're going to call this sketch our camshaft. Hit the green check mark, and there we go. We're going to rename part nine camshaft. And our parts are looking good so far. Now let's go on to making our parts and making sure we may have some materials on them. So like we assigned a new material to our box. Anytime we make a new, a new part, we also want to assign materials to that. I know the right and left bushing are going to have the same materials assigned to them. And since we don't have PLA, if we look up PLA, it's usually what we're printing with our 3D printers. We're just going to use ABS really close. We're just going to call it done there. Okay. We're also going to give it an appearance. We're going to edit that appearance and make it black. So any parts I have on here, let's at least make it dark and maybe not jet black. Any dark parts on here, I'm going to take as a mental note, these are the parts we need to 3D print. We're going to take our candle and ham uh, handle and camshaft. Ooh, tongue tangled there a little bit. We're going to assign properties to that. We're going to look up wood. And I think the closest we're going to find to this, usually the dowel rods we use are pine or some other type of wood. So let's use birch for now because we might get birch dowel rods. Looks okay with me. And we're also going to edit the appearance and give them a nice kind of wood color. Okay, we can actually finally make our camshaft and handle sketch invisible and our part is looking good. The last thing I want to do right now, since we have all these parts, they're exactly the way I modeled them, I want them to be. We are now ready to take all of these commands so I'm going to click on the top one, hold down shift, click on the bottom one, right click, add selection of folder, and we're going to call this folder camshaft, well, camshaft and handle. And we just cleaned up our timeline. All those commands we did, which are named, named 
easy to find. We now named, let's now clean up our parts list. Because we have composite part one, that's gonna be our box. Let's make another composite part. And that's gonna be all the pieces we just had. So if I make the box inactive, really easy to select all those parts. We'll call this composite part camshaft and handle. Hit the green check mark. Rename that part, or that composite part camshaft and handle. So here's the command, and then here is the actual composite part. So there's where the difference comes from. One is the command to make the composite part or the subassembly. The other one is the actual subassembly or the composite part itself. So let's put that, let's tuck it away down in there. And we now have our box with our handle. Both subassemblies are there. We're looking at good, smart designs. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You guys do a really good job making sure I do these parts correctly. And so I want to make sure I'm producing good content for you. Like I said, if there's any questions, feel free to throw them down in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. If this video has been helpful to you, please let me know. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.